All right, guys, and we are back. Yes, trending. We've got a couple of hot trending stories, but of course, with us on the show is the amazing Faith Mbotidem. Faith Mbotidem Ikot. Mbotidem, not Mbotidem. Mbotidem. Mbotidem Ikot. Oh, Johnny. It's fine. Faith, how was how your, so your, your weekend? Did you get people? Uh, it was good. I mean, I was still here yesterday working, but work is never done. Oh. You get if you're play, I always, you get people play with your name a lot. Yeah, Faith, I, I, I get used to it. I always say, if your TV works, we are working here to keep you entertained. Ah, nice. And you know, Faith is a plug for everything entertainment. New, she's always on the streets, on the streets, on the red carpet. Because you have to be everywhere sure. Everywhere, giving us the yeah, latest When she says she's on the streets, so she's in the streets, you have to be sure <laughs> what you are saying. Always, she and Anthony always, in terms of latest entertainment news, pop culture stories. Oh, Anthony's always on the streets? That's how they wow. do it. Wow, Anthony, oh, you're wow. always on the streets. Wow, Chinky, wow. Tolu, just let it go. He doesn't understand how... <laughs> I, you should know that I thought you are more wiser than you are wiser than this now. Oh, wow. Gee, I thought yeah. you are. Because wow. they're teaching me some words. So this one so I'm still on the street. is on the street. Can yeah. you not do oh. that? Let's continue what like you are attack. <laughs> 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 okay, so we're going to the first trending story. Alex Yukubo bags honorary doctorate degree mm -hmm. from General Republic University. And of course, I said this is a welcome distraction. As, yeah, yeah, that's a, a way to, to hit the haters. People who don't want your relationship to work. You hit them, bass boost with honorary degree. I, I, I like this yeah. because I think this is just <laughs> giving him something to distract himself, to, distract him from to take all away that, that can pain, I actually, girl, all that can social I actually media trolling. Question. Mm -hmm. Have you guys gone through a heartbreak before? Yes, yeah, so. Nothing can distract you from heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can distract you. You are absolutely in that zone. In that heartbreak. For, for the time being. Mm -hmm. Forget this. I'm sure when you were honoring him. His wife was doing good. Oh, no. You know, there was a, a picture, that, uh, there was a video that was going around <coughs> during the weekend that it showed him and his friends in, I don't know, like, it was like yeah. a car or something, and he was just there, like. It was lost lost in thought. And we were like, oh. this this uh, is listen, Alex in had, thought had, after when, a heartbreak. When I went through a certain heartbreak in one mm -hmm. time in my life, yo, all the love songs cannot help you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are love songs you try to. You just play love songs oh, just so you can shed tears song. to them. Because oh. personally, when I go through heartbreaks, I don't even listen to love songs. <laughs> I will kiss somebody. <laughs> what do you love want song. to listen to? <laughs> Me? I Malians. Just, it may be, you know, just get a good rebound with them, mm. Nara Mali and mm -hmm. all of that. But yeah. I feel for him. Congratulations once again. Uh, but by the way, the fiancé, um, uh, uh, Fancy, um, Faith, she mm -hmm. has gone on to delete that statement oh. yes she, the one she, she posted it. yeah it up. A, a statement mm -hmm. last week she's gone on to delete it so now people are asking questions is she deleting because she feels you know well, this is but I, too hard or i, I feel like is she, something brewing she didn't even have to put back. a statement out there because you all know one an explanation yeah. it's your relationship you can call it off between you and the person and people can notice it anyhow they want to because you you, see, you see putting a statement out there was going too far you see why i disagree with you i would have agreed if they didn't put their life on social media. Mm -hmm. But I'm disagreeing She could have just come out to say, okay, we broke up, just simply let I'm it go. I'm disagreeing with you because they made this proposal thing like mm. a reality show. Okay. You it was know, out there. Putting the, even doing a live video, having back and forth, and we all were enjoying this series. Now, when the series is over, like them Kim Kardashian, you have to give us official statement. statement well, we're not going to be watching this. Well, Kim Kardashian hasn't anymore. given you an official statement. She did before the Kim K. Yeah, thing ended. But, and then she but, turned up in a wedding dress. Uh, but, Chasha has given us. But, but, let me just say that at the end of the day, it's very hard. We're not, we put ourselves because we've all gone. We're humans, man. And yeah, it's painful, day. and I still pray that he's able to. Because you got to pray about this thing. It's really hard. It's mm -hmm. hard. You know, pray that he's able to, to move on and the both parties will be because it was it was very quiet for years and then it became public I and in that what period. Listen, I don't know what happened. You, crashed, you keep someone you know? quiet, you keep your relationship it's quiet sad. for five years. Sad. And it's and it goes well. well. A broken break what relationship that and a broken marriage. Well, leave that in yeah. But broken they broken. were they were going strong for a long time until just, suddenly everybody knew about it and it just went downhill. That's yeah. that's why sometimes I feel like, should I just keep your thing private? Just so when you break up, it will be you crying in private. So no, that is no, no. Private. so when you break oh, up, yeah, it's better yeah, than to private. cry in public, I guess. It's better. Because what? now they'll be expecting you give us the info, keep us updated. Hey, it's so that, sad, so yeah, sad, but yeah, I feel for him. We, we feel know, for my guy, feel for we both know. of them. So next story, Paul has finally responded, said, my family's business is nobody's, my family's problem is nobody's business because usually he doesn't comment on things like this but he's commenting and saying that whatever is going on 
is between his family or is within the family. Nobody has any right to comment or say mm. a word. It is not their business. You know, that's what he says. He said people should learn to respect the decision of others when it comes to issues that affect them directly. He says the public should also allow the Okoye family to enjoy the peace they're currently witnessing. Let the Okoye family just have the peace I think they are having, you know, having now. You see, you see the problem is that um, when you become a superstar, you know, um, there's not much you can do about it when people talk about your family. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why I, I love when I had Jim Michael on my show, maybe I'm going to repost that on social media. I love what he said about his family, his son, shielding them away from the limelight because they're not at the age where mm -hmm. they can make a decision whether they want to be part of this lifestyle or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So shielding them just gives them that uh, mental state of mind that, look, listen, they are safe. And I mean, do you know what's going on with Jimike and his kids? No, you mm -hmm. don't. You know, but unfortunately, not all superstars can be that way. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. Peace Square brothers have been there for so long. We witnessed the marriage, we witnessed the birth of the twins and the other mm. uh, children that they have. So it's only normal that people will talk about your family because I mean, you're a public figure and it's out there. But I, I, I think I want to agree with you. At this point, to keep them out. you know, the blog should. <laughs> try as much as possible to be human. I know you want to carry news and all of that. Sensationalism. But please just yeah. be, this is, it's, it's not It's not a story to just want to talk about. It's someone's life we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Whether a superstar or not, you know, you need to be careful what you say because you could either hurt the family even more or, you know what, put but some screws there in always, that heart. There will always be stories and there will always be things like that. But at the end of the day, um, uh, we just hope they're able to sort it out. Yeah, you know, that's and it. Just, uh, Moving forward, so moving, moving on to our next story, it's Tatcha saying that she cannot date a broke but responsible man. I don't know why it's like celebrities once they are always it, scared of meeting broke men. What's their definition of broke? Is it a guy who maybe he doesn't have the kind of money Dango, they have? Don't ask him. Don't ask me. Ask Faith. And how just how you know, you ask me because I feel like ladies make when you get to a certain stage, stage. in life, you feel like you don't want to go below that. Mm. You know, you've gotten to this point. What you need is a man that is slightly above you or on the same level with you or, or way above you. Not someone that is still struggling struggling to get to your level. Or, that's what a lot of them think. But I feel like if you f think he has potential, he still can come together. <laughs> that seems good but to then, <laughs> <laughs> but then, <laughs> nobody wants to go in there and suffer. <laughs> you don't mm -hmm. by suffering. Some people are already working on their... How their, did she say it again? She says she cannot, vehemently says she cannot date a guy who is and she's not the first person God saying God. that. He's like they get to, they all say it like a hey, God do it as if maybe they feel God was gonna bring a guy or, or maybe they get lots of guys. a man and bring it specially. You know? Touch out my you daughter. Understand that they won't be the same. This you is still, for you. A lot of these guys who claim to want to have all those things sometimes they just be players who there just want you for the certain things. So it really takes <laughs> grace, God, and a lot of things to be able to find the right person. It just shows you know? where her mind is. And, it's and not listen, wrong at all. And listen, it's not wrong you know, too, because people, she's also in, 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 in the face of can everyone. I say this? Mm -hmm. Can I say this? Can I say this? You know, you're who you are, and mm -hmm. you yeah. always want what you what you desire at some point. Yeah. At this point in Tasha's life, I think she's all about money and all about mm -hmm. that. She's in that making selfish the bag. mode. You know, making yeah. the bag. Maybe five years down the line, she might change this opinion. She doesn't see it, yeah, I mean, Maybe, <laughs> you know, because... I'm you know, sounding like Rick Hassani. <laughs> even me, I want to marry a rich woman. So I mean, she doesn't so, see a man so in the next five is, years. My, my you want to marry a rich woman? No, I, here, I want to pick that line. Here's the part, I'm trying, here's the part <laughs> I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is, we all want the good things of life. Of right? course so we Lydia do. So wants a billionaire if she can get one. Hey, Thank but you. Like oh. they say, it's not always greener on the other side. Mm. You know, so happiness is the most important thing, whether with money or without. But that's not to say she should lower her standard. There is yeah. a setting peg. But making it look like, you know, I mean, people who are struggling yeah. and making it. True. Not, yeah. not and not, of, they also say it's greener time. where you stand. You just need to water the soil mm. right where you stand. And, and just to be make honest, it when a woman has, or oh, anyone has gotten to that level, you know, of affluence and you've influence and you've met a lot of people who are wealthy. Yeah. There's that tendency not to want to You don't, don't go, go back down. down. That's what I'm down. saying. You get, get to it. this point. I get it, but you, you don't, don't want to go back down. At the same time, you don't want to sound very, because she's sounding very rude and vain and <laughs> bullish right now. I mean, and she's not the first person. Yeah, That's something you use for economy. No, yeah, I sounded so bullish, like, yo, I wasn't, but you were there before now. 
I just not the same Kubuki all along. I mean, she was there, and then she grew out of there. Moved to a mansion. She was there. She grew out. And we're the same Kubuki now. Uh, the, same, the same Bacha. Please, let's cut this part out so we can tell, we can ask Tacha if she knows Chinke, which yes, Kubuki no, no, which Kubuki you always say. I don't mean, pers I don't mean yeah. personally, but she oh, you was, mean like she literally? Back in the, I wouldn't say slum, but she was on the other side of the grass. And grass you were with her in that slum. Lush. <laughs> but now she's in the grass that is green That's and That's the thing. And when she, she was visit. there, maybe she could have dealt yeah, with that. But now she, she has that. picked herself up. She's and worked on herself. She's you. beyond that saying, standard. Don't make it sound as if those of us are still struggling. <laughs> we may get future. What's wrong you are sounding faint. I'm faint. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Just walk out. Make money. You have money now, Jinke. You have I'm money. speaking Boy. for the guys who don't. What's wrong with you? Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Okay, let's move to the last one on a really sad note. Uh, the passing of Sir Victor Owefo, who mm -hmm. at 80. Legend. Legend, maestro. That's what you call that. Uh, popular for his song, such as If You See Mommy, What I Never Run Away. And yeah, Jeremy, so. You know, those songs. So many, so many those amazing songs. still songs, fresh in our minds. Fresh in our memories. And, um, he will dearly be missed for his impact and his legacy that he a left. A Gregorian like myself. He went to St. Greg. Yes, uh, he did. Yes, he did. I think he was also the Silver Bird Man of the Year 2015. Yes, yeah. I remember yeah. the Silver Bird Man of the Year 2015. He was, he was widely, widely educated. Educated, um, well-read, and of course played many instruments. High life. We define that genre of high life. High life. I think flavor is now trying to, to really to keep that for the just keep century. that going. Flavor isn't trying. Flavor is has, really defined. He's yes. doing it. It's not trying. Sorry, mm. flavors people before they come for me. So of course, uh, do you have any any amazing? Hey, what can I say? Happen? I mean, a scholar, and you can't go yeah. past that. You mm -hmm. know, um, we see a lot of artists Very now true. doing music. Sculptor, philosopher, poet. Yes, you know, and it's a lesson for the generation uh, doing music now. That listen, as much as your music is good, it's selling, it's recognition, recognized globally. You need mm. to go to school. This man is well read, you know, a scholar, mm. uh, somebody who you would always wake up at any point in time and mm. want to listen to him talk because he's got that wealth of knowledge, both in the area of business, mm. art and culture. Even above 50, he was still going uh, to know, school. You know, so go to school. I mean, look at Alex, gone to school, mm. getting a PhD. Mm. That's something we all should thrive yes, to do, yes. really. Go to school and get that extra degree. It's not going to cost you It's just a few anything. weeks ago. To well, even well read. I'm just looking at it, of course, first... Honorable Commission of Arts and Culture. He was, he was in Benin. Wow. Let me tell wow. you what going he to was. school. Let me tell you what, as an influential person going to school, in will a help dope you state. help you achieve. You don't know what opportunities might open up for you when you go to school as, specific, for example, a whiskey. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whiskey at some point might not turn those hits, but he's gonna go back to the fact that he's educated. He's got a yeah. degree, and then you know, take it off from there. So Even David does too. I encourage you. Go. To, yeah, exactly. Go back to school. If you're out there watching, you're quitting. Go back. There's a guy. You know, they, there's a lot of these artists. They quit school to chase this dream so they can I make know money of and go back. Who yeah. did that? I, I, mm. I can't really say how he ended, but I don't hear of him anymore. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing the music is in pain. Mm. I'm hoping he's doing something better. He left school back then. I think it was in second year. To go do music. His music was one of the biggest. Okay. This was in 20, 2012, 2013. The biggest then, one of the, I'll probably play, play for you guys when we wrap up the show. He left school in the second year and the third year to go pursue this music. I can't, I'm, I, in the last five, six years, I haven't heard Because it. more often than not, it doesn't always go so rosy. That's what I'm everyone. saying. That's yeah, what I'm but, saying. But one so, note, hey. uh, we we're going to just say something short, but then again, it was also the passing of. Uh, actor, if I indicate over the weekend to another legendary. I feel, I feel like in the in, in the last just this we month, we're still in Lauta, August. We lost Yusuf Nollywood I mean, or the entertainment space has space. lost a lot of people, and it's it's just sad. And aside from that, there's still others in sick bed. You know, mm. they just it, it's just a very sad thing. I feel like people could mm. do more to take care of themselves because these guys are always on the move. Yeah, they're, they're, they're either yes. moving from one set to another or from one location to another, even the music artist. So I think That's they need to do that. more to take care of themselves because they really do not have time to rest, sleep, or go to hospitals for checkups. Oh, you, and a lot of them have that. personal doctors. All right, um, on that well, sad note, would take a quick tribute uh, to Sir Victor, Victor Waifo, legend, real music maestro, and of course, we'll be right back to finish, uh, I said finish, uh, we have a uh, we have no no we're not wrapping up we have a guest coming through so <laughs> we're talking about the young people and the nigerian economy so please stick around for that conversation you don't want to miss it we'll be right back